Hi there, in this video we're going to be talking about how we go about estimating the population variance sigma squared and our estimator for this population variance we're going to call sigma hat squared. Okay so let's just remind ourselves what we're talking about here. We have some sort of bivariate population process which is y is equal to alpha plus beta x plus some error u and this error u we're saying is being defined as having sort of a normal being normally distributed with a mean of zero and a variance of sigma squared okay so what does it actually mean for a process to have a variance well if we think about the variance of u the definition of the variance is that that's the expectation of u minus the expectation of u all squared and um, because of the fact that we know that the process actually has a mean zero, this second term disappears and we're just left with the variance of u is equal to the expectation of u squared. Okay, so that's the variance of our population um, error u, which we're going to call sigma squared. But how do we go about estimating this from our sort of regression? So let's just remind ourselves from our regression, we sort of are going to get something that y is equal to alpha star plus beta star times x plus our residuals u hat. So beta star and alpha star here are, are the sort of point estimates which alpha hat and beta hat have given for the population parameters alpha and beta. And in general, they're not exactly going to be equal to alpha and beta because of sampling error. And correspondingly, we have u hat, which is our sort of estimate of the population error u, uh, and we call these sort of things residuals. So it might make sense, or it might seem to make sense, to form some sort of estimator for the population variance, which we're going to call sigma tilde squared, which is equal to 1 over n times the sum of i equals 1 to n of sigma, or oh, sorry, u hat i all squared. And sort of writing this out in full, that would have that would be then one over n times u one squared u hat one squared sorry plus u hat two squared, continuing all the way up to sort of u hat n minus one squared plus u hat n squared. And when I sort of took the sort of expectations of both sides to sort of see whether this thing was unbiased then you might think about each of these terms as being a sort of unbiased estimate of um, sigma squared. So that one would contribute sigma squared. This one would contribute sigma squared. Sort of continuing on and sort of thinking about our last two terms also is contributing sigma squared. So then I'd get sort of my expectation of um, my sigma tilde squared would be equal to n sigma squared divided by n, which would just be sigma squared. But this isn't the case and the reason for that is is essentially these two last terms have a variance of zero and the reason for that is 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 to do with degrees of freedom and remember that um, when we derived our least squared estimators beta hat and alpha hat we got two first order conditions which we could write that um, the sum of i equals 1 to n of u hat i being equal to zero. That was a sort of first order constraint which we got on um, from differentiating our least squares cost function with respect to alpha hat, we got this. And we've, by differentiating our least squared cost function with respect to beta hat, we got that the sum of i equals one to n of xi times u hat i is equal to zero. So we have these two constraints which our residuals have to abide by. And because of that, essentially our two last terms don't actually vary at all. They're not free to vary in the slightest because if we know the sort of previous n minus two terms, these two terms are predetermined, so they don't have any variance. So in fact, if we were to take the expectation of sigma tilde squared, it would in fact be something like, uh, well, it would be the expectation of sigma tilde squared is equal to n minus two over n times sigma squared. So it would in fact be a sort of biased estimate of sigma squared and it would actually underestimate sigma squared. So what do we do? Well, instead of dividing through by n, we form an estimator which we're going to call sigma hat squared, which is equal to 1 over n minus 2 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of u hat i squared. And that is what we define as our sort of estimate or, or unbiased estimator for the population variance sigma squared. 
And in general, if it's sort of, this is the sort of bivariate case, so I've got n minus two in the bottom here. If it's sort of with k regresses, it just becomes n minus k on the bottom here. Because instead of just having two constraints, we essentially have um, k and um, k constraints. So that's the sort of extension to more than the, the bivariate case when we have sort of k regresses.